Our next presenter, I think, deserves at least a Nobel Peace Prize or a humanitarian award because this man has to get along with Buddy Ryan. And apparently he does because they win. Harry Gamble is the president and general manager of the Philadelphia Eagles, has been since 1985, has been with the organization since 1981. When he came there as a volunteer head uh, assistant coach, was uh, named full-time to the organization in, in 82. Um, he became acquainted with our inductee Otto Neidinger when they were coaches at Lafayette College. Uh, Harry, the head coach, and, and Otto, uh, an assistant there, and they moved on to Penn in 1971 for nine years, from 1971 through 1980, when Harry was the head coach there, Otto was his assistant coach. They have a long relationship, obviously, both as head coach and assistant coach, and certainly as friends along that way. Here to present inductee Otto Neidinger is Harry Gamble. Harry? Thank you very much. Uh, first of all, let me say how much I enjoy being here this evening. Uh, it's really a privilege to be with Otto and to share this special evening and at the same time to meet all of you fine people who make uh, the Blair County Hall of Fame what it is. Um, there was a reference made to Buddy Ryan. I don't know how, how much you folks follow Eagle football. I know that there has to be a lot of Steeler fans in the audience, but Buddy Ryan is a quiet, uh, unassuming kind of guy <laughs> who seems somehow or other to constantly put his foot in his mouth. I am not going to rile up the Bensons, even though Brad is retired, and I know for sure I'm not going to rile up this great quarterback that sits to my right. I want to say congratulations to all of the award recipients, but especially you two guys. <laughs> you know, I'll tell you something else, too, what I think makes this a great evening. Uh, it brings to mind, when we honor a fellow like Otto Neidinger, and of course these others too, of people who have been very important to this area and to us in general. Like in Otto's case, it brings to mind Coach Earl Strom and his great teams and the teammates that shared the playing time with Otto on those teams. It brings to mind another great era in Penn State football, because it brings to mind Rip Engel. And Otto was one of the heroes of the many heroes that played for Rip. And so that's what makes an evening like this so very, very special. You know, ever since uh, recorded uh, history, there have been efforts made to revere the athlete in every society, in every country. It may have started with the Greeks, and went to the Romans, and of course, innumerable countries since that time, all the way down to those of us here in this country. And by paying homage to the great athletes, and somehow or other I think that we, we look at them and we see in them a little bit of humanity. We see the, the humility, we see the greatness, we see the success and we see the failures. And the best persevere and the best are honored at nights like you're having here. And I think that's very, very special. And I think that just to be part of that is, is for me a privilege, and I hope it is for everyone here. Otto and I have known each other for a number of years. Uh, I first met Otto, Otto, met Otto Neidinger at Lafayette College when I became head coach, and it was said he was my assistant coach. I don't think that we were ever head coach and assistant coach. We were always co-coaches. The success that we enjoyed both at Lafayette and at the University of Pennsylvania was largely responsible because of Otto Neidinger. So it's I that's benefited, even though perhaps I had the title as head coach. But, you know, <clears throat> one of the things I think that we all have in life was, is that we would like to be able, when time eventually calls us away from this earth, to have a feeling that maybe our life our individual life mattered in some fashion. Well, I know Otto's life has mattered not only with his family and his friends, but also because he has touched countless hundreds of young men in high school and college football through his coaching that have benefited and who in, in turn will take something of Otto Neidinger's. In fact, it helps make to a degree those of us that have that good fortune of coaching it carries a degree of immortality because 
that what we give to these young people that we coach, and a lot of it is so very, very special for success in life, I think has to give us and has to give Otto this night a very, very sincere sense of satisfaction. But before Otto coached, he played the game. And I know that in our game of football, the heroes, the quarterbacks, the running backs, the wide receivers, the guys that kind of catch the, the eye of the fan and, and the media people, recognize, these people recognize that it's the guys that play in the trenches that are the special people. And this is where the battle is fought, and this is where the gladiators live, and this is where the Otto Nidingers put their hearts and bodies on the line every week, and where anonymity is the rule, and pain is something that is accepted. And it's these fellows, the Otto Nidingers of this great game, that are the magnificent blue-collar men of football the interior linemen, the offense and the defensive guys that are playing that game up front. And every team and every coach and every organization from the high school level to the college level to the professional level recognize that the heart and soul of the team are these people. The people who bleed for you, the people who win for you, and it's the guys like Otto Neidinger that make this game the game that it really is. And people like him, they play healthy, they play hurt, they play in good times and bad, but by and large, if there's any success being enjoyed by a particular team, it's because of these fellas. And so the enshrinement of Otto Neidinger in, is the reaffirmation, in my opinion, of this great game and all that it teaches. And it also provides, I think, a reaffirmation of the values and the virtues of what still is the American way of life. The fires that burn the brightest in him for the great love and the great enthusiasm that he has and ha had and has for the game of football is something very, very special. And he brings that to the young people that he still coaches to this day. But more importantly, as I said before, he played the game and he played it fiercely and loyally with honor and with a degree that I think has been difficult to emulate by anyone. And so for me, it's, it's a great honor and it's a great privilege to present to the Blair County Hall of Fame my partner in coaching for 12 years, as well as my lifetime friend, Mr. Otto Neidinger.